high. I have carefully selected top 4 news making the rounds in Nigeria as today and I'll be doing my blunt analysis on each and every one of them. So stick around to the end of the video, hit the subscribe button and let's get going. The first news I'll be talking about is that Nigeria Labour Congress, Trade Union Congress and others like Femi Falano are threatened to sue the federal government if the federal government fails to publish the details of the loans that the federal government is trying to seek from China. Usually this is a step towards the right direction and it calls for excitement from Nigerians but history has shown that when people threaten the federal government to sue the federal government because of one thing or the other that's always ended up being flushed down the drain because the federal government or the executive has a huge influence on every aspect of the government like the judiciary and the legislature so this move is dead on arrival because the federal government is going to frustrate the move and nothing is going to come out of it the second news i'll be talking about is that nigeria misses out of covid 19 vaccine trials once again science has come to the rescue and while developed countries have been able to invest heavily on developing a vaccine for COVID-19, other countries like Nigeria rely on fasting and prayer and you know, violating COVID-19 guidelines. The real issue here is that Russia has developed a COVID-19 vaccine and it has passed some stages and it is now in a trial stage where they will be testing people from different parts of the world. And Nigeria is expected to be one of the um, key players in this game but unfortunately Nigeria is not doing all that it needs to do to participate in this trial and what that means is that if you don't participate in the trial then once the vaccine is ready your country is going to be at the last end of reception of this COVID-19 vaccine because they will give priority to those who participated actively towards the development of the vaccine compared to you who did not participate <laughs> in the development of the vaccine. That is not good for the Nigerian people and it has again shown that our government is not serious enough to play the game that would make the Nigerian people benefit from vaccine or stuff like this. Not to mention the fact that all the funds that have been donated so far so good have not yielded any good result because people are complaining that palliatives that will cushion the effect of COVID-19 did not get to them and we are wondering what the federal government did with the money that was donated to them. This government is doing everything that will make people to criticize them that will make people to start complaining about them and a good government should mitigate against that a good government should serve the people well enough to deserve accolade not criticism and criticism every time the third news is that Lagos state government has eventually reopened worship centers and that will take effect from august 7 that is this friday and on sunday for christians a lot of religious enthusiasts are jubilating over these news and, I, and we hope that they will comply to COVID-19 rules to minimize spread or to even flatten the curve. Nobody needs any statistics to determine that the Nigerian people are very, very religious. So look at so many worship centers that will be reopening this Sunday and you'll be wondering if the Nigerian people can channel this same energy that they channel towards religion, if they can channel it to holding public officials accountable, Nigeria will be so, so better for it. The fourth news and the last news I'll be talking about is that Senator Abu, who assaulted a lady in a toy store, wins the case of assault, despite glaring video evidence. And my take on this news is very, very simple. This is a classic example of why people like us believe that Nigeria do not have a functioning judiciary and judiciary is compromised and it's no longer the last hope of the common man because this is a very glaring, 
very clear case because there is video evidence and the video even went very viral where the Nigerian senator was physically assaulting this young lady and now the case has been thrown out of the window just like that and this is a very huge slap on the face of the Nigerian people because again the political elite have succeeded in making sure that one of them is not punished and it seems there is different law for the poor and the rich so that's all i have to say as far as news making the rounds in nigeria is concerned feel free to drop your comment section down below and do not forget to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next one